Pneumonia is one of the most frequent infections that we see in human beings. It's an inflammation of the lungs, and if you have pneumonia, you get shortness of breath, high fever, produce sputum, and sometimes it can even lead to hospitalization of to people dying from the infection. There are many types, many causative agents of pneumonia. The pneumococcus is one of the most important ones. Studies demonstrate that the risk of developing pneumococcal disease and pneumococcal pneumonia sharply increases after the age of 65. The reason that elderly are prone to develop pneumonia and pneumococcal pneumonia is because that their immune system is deteriorating slowly. In different studies, the mortality rates reported varied between 6 and 20 sometimes 25 percent. But the most frequent cause of pneumonia is the streptococcus pneumonia, the bacterium. And that bacterium comes in many different variations. 13-valent conjugate vaccine contains 13 different serotypes or antigens of 13 different serotypes of pneumococci. CAPITA stands for Community Acquired Pneumonia Immunization Trial in Adults. With Community Acquired Pneumonia we mean a inflammation caused by a bacterium of the lungs, which is caused in a setting outside the hospital. We included 84,496 uh, healthy adults over the age of 65 years. By the size of the study, it was already unique because there are not that many other studies that included so many healthy, healthy adults before in a trial. So the participants were divided in two groups. One received the vaccine, the other group received the placebo. And during the follow-up period after vaccination, we determined which of these patients were hospitalized with community-acquired pneumonia caused by the pneumococcal bacteria. What we saw in the CAPITA study was in that the persons that received the vaccine, the likelihood of pneumonia caused by any of these 13 different serotypes was 45% lower. So therefore, the study demonstrates that this vaccine can offer a significant reduction in the incidence of pneumococcal disease, pneumococcal pneumonia in adults. We think these results are very exciting. The results of the CAPITA study will now be used in many countries to evaluate the cost effectiveness of vaccination strategies for elderly. In adults, and especially in elderly above 65 years, pneumonia is a very frequently occurring infection associated with significant morbidity and also considerable mortality. So if we could prevent a substantial proportion of these infections, I think that would improve our healthcare.